I think somebody is doing unauthorized magic here. Um, like a lot. It, Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Tavern Tycoon. Tavern Tycoon got a great response when I put it back up on the channel. A lot of people were very happy to see that back, and so am I. It's a great, fun game. And I wanted to really try out the Endless Journey mode, sort of a, a sandbox mode, as I would understand it. I mean, we could go back and go through some of the campaigns and the scenarios, but I feel we've kind of done that before. It's not going to be real fresh for you guys, and a lot of people are doing the scenarios what are we really going to get out of that but endless journey mode now that sounds interesting because i can adjust virtually everything here so i think normal mode that's fine that's fine starting gold a little bit low but that's okay starting rep quite low okay our goal is ten thousand points okay so we do have a goal there is something we're shooting for Great. All right. Starting loan, maximum loan. That that's fine. I hopefully we won't need loans at all. Although knowing my luck with tycoon games, that's invariably where we'll all fall down. And by all of us, I mean me. Starting potions and group reservations at normal. Okay. Fair enough. Mead quality down though. And recipes unlocked. We're only going to have one. We're gonna probably need to get some research going. Recipe level at one. Ooh, that, that, that we're not going to have very good stuff in our tavern. Maximum guests is large, though. That's good. Um, earthquake frequency that we briefly touched on last time. Um, mildly alarming, but it's normal. Apparently, we have the normal amount of earthquakes in our tavern. I don't know what that entails. I, I haven't dealt with earthquakes in Tavern Tycoon yet. But I think let's just take a crack at Endless Journey. Let's see what we want to do with it, how much of it we want to do, and let's just play a little more Tavern Tycoon. Welcome to Endless Journey. You are free to do anything and just keep playing. I like the sound of that Tavern Tycoon. However, if our tavern goes under, you will still be fired. Good to know that's still in effect. Thanks, Tavern Tycoon. Okay, I've been fired in Tavern Tycoon before. It's not pretty. All right, we've got a basic big building. Looks like we could expand to another pretty big building. And then over here and over here. Hi, Tutorial Ninja. Welcome back. All right, we've got a... Oh, here's a big old building. We've got a lot of buildings we can play with eventually. This is a huge building. And that seems to be about it. Okay. So we've got like half a dozen buildings we can mess around with. Well, no reason to uh, get that, that going right now. Let's get some fundamentals in play. Let's start this off right. And I don't even have Tutorial Ninja coming back at me. I don't know if I'm sad about that or not. Let's zone. What do we want to start with? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, everything's pretty much unlocked. Teleportation Center. We haven't done that before. Allows guests to teleport into the tavern, which effectively increases the number of guests. All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, archery range, shared guest room. Guests are looking for affordable accommodation. They often agree to stay the night in the shared guest rooms. Okay, lot to do here. A lot to do. Let's start. Let's actually get out of this and start with a very basic fundamental of a bar. That is kind of our thing here. So let's get a bar... Yes, give me one of those, please. Where are we going to put this exactly? Okay, my vague plan right now, emphasis on the vague, is the bar is going to go there. I'm going to put the kitchen here, and we'll have a bunch of tables right here. Um, learning lessons from the past. Hi, Tutorial Ninja. Yep, we'll, we'll choose a tavern name. You don't worry about that. That's going to happen. Um, learning lessons from the past. I want the kitchen, and more specifically, the door to the kitchen, to be as close to the tables as possible. So let's get a basic... Yeah, just a small kitchen here. Yeah, do that. Place the door right up front here. And let's get our prep table. Oh, there's there's an armadillo rat. Hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. Um, all right, confirm that and hit the armadillo rat. That's 10 gold right there. I know I should name my tavern. We're, we're technically open. I actually would prefer not to be open. Can we, can we close, please? Uh, no, I don't have any people, Tutorial Ninja. A competing tavern has been opened. All right, let's get some people on board here. Quickly, quickly. Uh, one bartender. What do we got? You have good skill and reasonable potential. You have terrible skill. You have really good skill. How much do you cost? 268? Oh, that's not bad. 
I mean, we should get a good bartender. That kind of just seems to make sense. Yeah, yeah, hire you, hire you. You go, you go down there. And maidens, I need a maiden. I need somebody to cook some food, please. Uh, a Winter, wow, you're broadly terrible at being a maiden. Uh, G Blothson, you're kind of meh, and you're kind of cheap. You're a little bit more expensive, but you have way more potential. So when you level up, you're going to get more skill points. You're in. G Latham, you're in the kitchen. Uh, I need some tables sort of too sweet here. Tables, yes, please, tables. Uh, give me, uh, how about six tables to start out with? Yes, do that. Um, actually, that might have been a little too many tables, but we'll, we'll learn to cope. Let's put a table, and could I maybe squeeze three in here? No, not quite. But I can get one right there and right there. What's going to live over here? I don't know yet. I don't know. I might actually just keep that area blank for, you know, guest experience things, the things the guests like to do. Okay, fundamentals down. Fundamentals down. We've got somewhere to eat, somewhere to drink. Let's name our tavern. Yeah, let's do that, please. And as usual, we will call this the Wee Hours Inn. And we shall also call this the Wee Hours Inn. Because I'm kind of unimaginative about that sometimes. But we've named every tavern that we may as well. Cool. All right. Butterhouse has been opened in the area. Not a fan. Their food is mediocre at best. And they're more of a sports bar, really. Our tavern wee hours in is going to be awesome. You're right, Tutorial Ninja. It is. Great. We got two customers. Archery customers, I notice. We could get an archery range. Hmm. Would you guys like that? You're a rogue. Okay. What does that mean to me exactly? Not a lot yet. Okay, get out of that. What's my next move with our tavern? I want to try and build not super quickly. Oh, we've got a wizard. Hi. You're cool looking. Um, you're a mage. You're thinking about what to do. You probably want something to do. You know what would be good right here? Just while I'm looking at it. How about a basic restroom? People would probably dig that. Uh, yeah, put that there. Confirm that. Excellent. Let's put a door right there. And let's get some stalls in here. So one there. Uh, get the wash basin. Where can I put the wash basin? How about if I put it there, will that give me enough room to do some more stalls over here? Please say yes. Uh, one there. And can I squeeze one more in here? Yeah, there we go. That looks good. All right, confirm that. Folks, we have a bathroom. You're already drunk. You've been in here five minutes and you're tanked. I guess our meat is pretty good after all. All right. Um, we've got a mage and we've got a rogues. What would you guys like to do? Like, what sort of things would you like? I'll bet the mage would like arcane study, where wizards like to spend most of their time. What would a rogue like? Not the gymnasium. Students of violence there. Spa? Okay, that seems to be good for anyone. Local guests, period. Express shop, what's that? Caters to visitors in need of inventory for their journey. Requires a clerk to be stationed. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Oh, gambling den. I bet that's where the rogue would want to go. Mmm... Guests will lose happiness every time they lose a game. Keep them happy if you want to keep playing. Yeah, but I bet I make money when they don't. Storage allows to store baggage. We've done the teleportation center. Staff training room and shared guest room and archery range. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I was right about the rogues. They want an archery range. The longer the range, the happier they'll be. Okay, we've got a lot to do. Oh, come on, man. You're already puking on the floor here. You're already puking on the floor. I'll look at the mail in a second. We've got to get a handyman going on here. A Downer, you are pricey, but you're very skilled. You're very skilled. What are my other options? D Daves, again, pricey, but really skilled. And B Minster, a little bit in the middle there. Let's take a little bit in the middle, and you know we'll look at keeping him on board for a while and train him up. All right. Let's put some things down in this area to just make people super happy. But let me read the mail first. How's the tavern going? Oh, hi, Lord Peter. Uh, decided to take a short break and visit your tavern. Keep the mead cold. Yeah, you can come over. 
I don't think we're going to have anything horrible for you right now. Monthly report, that's fine. And, oh god, who wants a raise already? Jay Tabard! Really? Okay, you are a pretty good bartender. You're not wrong about that. That's a lot of money, though. You better justify this. I'm going to give you the raise now. You better justify that. Okay, happy things. Happy, happy things. Well, first of all, let's get the clock going so we can actually pause time because apparently we're time lords. So throw the clock down there. All right. Now, happy, happy things. Um, happy things that are not staff that people like. They would probably like some benches. A fireplace would be really good. Because that, if I can squeeze that in there, that makes people really happy. And maybe some pot plants, which are just unfortunately names. Potted plant might be a better idea. A piano? I haven't seen pianos. Oh, it's another place musicians can perform. Oh, very cool. And it sobers up drunk guests. Radius of 11. I would assume that's 11 tiles. Cool. A uh, bookshelf. Intrigued mind. The wizards might like one of those. Yeah, put one of those up. Swordstone guests get to try and pull the sword out for a price. Oh, I like the sound of that already. And chess table. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to squeeze into my little area here. Give me just those things for right now. Could I maybe get this in kind of in the corner here would be a good idea. Uh, you may want to move, Mr. Wizard, because I'm putting fire down like literally where you are right now. Uh, this could live... If I put this here, that's going to probably mess with some pathing around this corner here. Maybe we could put this sort of here. And another one here. And the bookshelf. Can I have the bookshelf live right there? Yeah, there we go. Now let me just throw down a couple of benches really quick. People like to sit on things. I've heard that about people. Give me two benches. Can we put one there and one there right by the bathroom. Probably an important place for that. Oh, I know you. Ah, ha, 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 yeah. I've seen you in Tavern Tycoon before. Kids trying to get in one on top of the other one's shoulders. I see you. Get out of my bar. Um, why do you have a pig on your back? You're a barbarian. Okay, question answered. Question asked, question answered. You have a huge mammoth pig on your back because you're a barbarian. Okie dokie. Um, so, well, good luck with that. Um, the, the wizard just puked on that guy's shoes, and he's going to the washroom. Not super surprised by that. All right, monthly report for February. Obviously, I just built a ton of stuff, so I can't take that 9,000 expenditure super seriously, but income was 621, staff wage was 637. So not completely terrible, um, but we've got a ways to go here. Need to start thinking about, I've done things to make people happy-ish, now I need things to, you know, mix the monies. And what I'm seeing is maybe right here would be... Oh, hang on. Armadillo rat. Got him. Any more kids in here that I need to know about? Here comes another barbarian with a pig on his shoulders. Are, are you are you bringing that to the kitchen? Because this is not bring your own food. It, it's not that kind of restaurant. That's not any kind of restaurant. You don't bring your own food to a restaurant. That's not how restaurants work. Um, let's get some staff, or not staff rooms, guest rooms. Let's see how many guest rooms I could maybe squeeze into here. Yeah, give me one there. Yeah. Ah, uh, the earthquake is happening. The earthquake is happening. Yes, I know there's an earthquake, Tutorial Ninja. I kind of figured that out whenever, oh, everything's broken. Everything, that's, well, I mean, that's, that's what's going to happen with an earthquake. Uh, let's get our handyman on damage control. Yes, absolutely. In fact, you know what? Let's just go ahead and hire a new handyman. Uh, you are S ego much. You're pretty skilled, but not a lot of potential. Uh, if I could get someone just kind of in the middle. Wow, you're super skilled, actually. You're pricey, but you're super skilled and your potential is through the roof. I think that might be worth hiring. Everybody, handyman. Where, where's my other handyman? I was making guest rooms and everything exploded. Okay, he's in there. He's doing stuff. They're both in there doing stuff. Who? Okay. So that's what happens when an earthquake happens. Everything breaks. Who are you? You're a, a, just a generic local guest. Okay, you look like Prince Charming or something. I thought you might be important, but apparently you're not. Okay, good. I'm glad you're not very important. I was able to get three... I could get a fourth guest room in here. 
I totally could. I'm just kind of concerned about what that's going to do to that corner there. I will build a staff room tutorial ninja. I'm totally, totally working on it at some point in time. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Four guest rooms in there and I'll... F oh, oh, hang on. I got kids. I got... I see you. There you go. Get out of here, kids. Get out. No underage serving in here. Oh, you're a knight. Thinking about what to do. Well, probably take off that armor. It looks wicked heavy. I think we need another bench over here. What are you waiting on exactly? Uh, you, come here. Waiting for a seat at the bar. Okay. Maybe I put another bar in here. All right. Fundamentals, fundamentals. Let's get the reception desk in. Yep, give me that. And if I could tuck that somewhere kind of nice and tight in here, that'd be great. How about if that lived right here? And then we need a, remind me, a clerk for one of those. You're super skilled, but you're also super pricey. And so are you. You're less pricey and kind of mid-range, A. Timson. Work there, please. All right. Okay. Um, things. We probably need a second bar already if people are already waiting for seats. Although, guys, I, I do see some empty seats here. The, the bartender is not here, but I do see some empty seats. We need a staff room. Okay, we need a staff room. That's clear. Oh, Armadillo Rat. Got him. Yeah, you're just hanging out because you don't have anywhere to rest. I will deal with that right now. Right now, you're going to get a staff room. Here it comes. Uh, one of those. Let's make it slightly bigger. There we go. That way I can get some extra furniture in there. So you can have a staff room there. I know it's a little out of the way from where you work, but I'm trying to map this out in my head as I'm doing this. So you can have a bookcase there. Give me another couch, please. And actually, can I squeeze a third couch in here? Yes, I can. All right, you're in there and you're super happy about the fact that you have a staff room now. Okay, it's dueling pigs at the bar. We have two huge pigs up at the bar. And um, also some boars. Aha, see what I did there? No, two barbarians have just nestled up together each other and are kind of banging their two boars into each other. Um, what do we need next? Is it a second bar? Kitchen is not getting a lot of action now, is it? No, not even a little bit. I should start thinking about researchy things and making everything better. There's a lot to do. Um, how is the tavern going, Lord Peter? Uh, yeah, come come on over and visit. That'll probably be fine. And again, can't take this too seriously because I just built all those staff rooms. And not so much on the income, though. I should take that seriously. I should definitely be taking that seriously. We need things that make money. I'm going to move the clock because I don't really need access to the clock at any given point. Because I wanted to see if I might be able to squeeze a bar in here. Yeah, not so much. Okay, that table's really in the way and so is the reception desk. I could definitely get it here. Do I really want it there? Kind of really want it in the corner, but it's not really going to work out because they need to path around the back of the bar. Um, do I want this here? How about, actually, how about we put this down here? How about we put this down here? right by the reception desk. So you come in, aha, I see you. I see you kids. Ha, gotcha. No underage drinking in my bar. Get out of here. Get out of here. That, 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 those actually, as I recall from my first time with Tavern Tycoon, those actually hurt my reputation if I've got kids in the bar. So the sooner you get on those guys, the better. All right, the bartender's back on duty. The barbarians are happy. Wow, we got a lot of barbarians kicking around. Maybe we should do that sword from the stone thing. But first off, i got to hire another bartender. Uh, L. Crane, you're, wow, you're terrible, but you've got a lot of potential. I like that about you, L. Crane. That's the sort of person I'd hire in the real world. I've hired people. I've been an employer. That's the kind of guy I probably would have hired. L. Crane, you're kind of terrible, but you got a lot of potential. You're in. Uh, someone's looking for a raise to who is it and how much. Uh, it's my only clerk. It's my only clerk. Um, You want, you want your wage to be 328. I'm going to give it to you now, and we're going to revisit that later. We're going to... Oh, group reservation. Yes, please. Oh, 12 locals. That's a lot. 
All right, take it anyway. Kind of needs the monies right now. Um, yeah, again, wages are going way up and income is not going up comparably. So we've got to make some, I need some money making things. What could we put in this bar apart from the guest rooms and the basic food and drink to make money? Let's put up a couple of things. Let's put up this sword stone. It's pricey, but you know, apparently we make money on that. So that's pretty good. I'd like to get that kind of right in the middle of everything. That would be fun. Let's put that right here. Yeah. Um, no, do it so it's not going to mess with anyone's pathing. Put that right there. I want to see what happens, basically. Is anyone going to get in on that right away? Not so much. You're puking. That's super. That's really good. Um, why do you have a negative thing on you? Mead reminds me of donkey urine. Roasted whole chicken was not available. Yeah. Hmm. And we kind of knew that when we, when we set our settings. Our food and drink is not very good. So we, oh, he's doing the sword and the stone thing. Hang on. I was going to talk about the research department, but hang on. He's doing the sword and the stone thing. I kind of like to see how much money I make from that. Well, you didn't get it. You lose. Now, did I make money on that? Please say yes. All right. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the big party. Okay. Yeah, because they all come in and they all look like clones. That's my huge party there. All right. Well, they are being mostly served. I see one of our bartenders is taking a break. Uh, mail's coming in. Hang on, let me check the mail. Uh, group reservation of knights. I actually really can't take that reservation right now. We're a little full up. I'm very sorry, but I'm going to reject that reservation because um, I don't think we can really accommodate that at the moment. So no, no doors over here. What could we do with a research area because our food and drink is broadly terrible? It would be a nice idea if we could, you know, have better stuff. I do want to look at this express shop. Yeah, let's do both. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up the research station. How big does that have to be? That big. Well, it may as well fill the corner. There's nothing else going into that corner at that rate. Have a door, have a, a, a barrel, and have a, a who's he what's it there. Super. And you need, uh, sorry, remind me what you need. Again, you need a Oh, you actually need both. I was actually told this in the comments. Um, oh, and I just demolished it. Okay, that's back up. Armadillo rat dealt with. Um, so I actually need both. I was I was reminded. Oh God, it's an earthquake. Um, I need a maiden and a bartender in there because one will research food, one will research drink. Everything just got explodey around here. Yeah, I know you're all sad. We just had an earthquake. Uh, anyone want to get on that? Where are my handymen? Are they on break? No, one of the bartenders is, but where are my are my handyman coming in on this? Somebody needs to be repairing stuff. I've got two of you. You gotta be around here somewhere. Everyone's puking on the floor. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just going to pretend for a moment that that's all going to work its way up. You know, work itself out eventually. So, what's our worst thing that we have? Would probably be a good idea to know. Well. You know what? The guy walked out saying the drink was terrible. So let's get a bartender. I don't know if their skill affects their research speed. I don't know. Please let me know in the comments if you know. But let's just put a sort of meh bartender in here to start researching more booze. Or more importantly, better booze. Okay, things seem to be being repaired. Things are being repaired around here. Good. Lots of vomit. Handymen are a little busy repairing literally everything in here. Okay, he's got the bar up and running. It seems like they've pretty much taken care of everything. Good. Okay. Okay, let me just check the mail here. A uh, group of wizards. Again, I'm gonna unfortunately reject that. I just don't think we're equipped for two huge parties at one time. Uh, Lord Peter wants to come in. Yeah, I'm basically okay with that. We've spent a ton of money. Um, income went way up, though. Income went way up. I wonder if part of that was that big party that we had coming in. Good. Excellent. Well... We're working on better booze. And then that express shop, that's what I wanted to do. I think that sounds fun. And that sounds like that makes me money. I've never done the express shop before. Uh, where did that go? Right there, it needs to be five by five. Okay, what if we did that? 
right by the front is where I want that. You're going to want to come in and buy your stuff immediately. So put a door there. Oh, mega sale. I like that. I like that. Oh, um, I think somebody is doing unauthorized magic here. Um, like a lot. It, I, I haven't built you the place where you cast spells. Please don't do that in the future. Um, it's not that kind of party over here. Go, you can live here. And, oh, this is a neat looking shop. Little display board there. Okay, and that needed a clerk, as I recall. A clerk. You're kind of meh. You're kind of not... Oh, wow, you're super pricey. You're really good, though. You're very, very good, but you're super, super pricey. Okay, I'm just going to take S. Morley for meh. Uh, no, not the knight, thank you. Mega sale. We've got some potions, some scrolls down here. Little boxes and... I assume this is my for sale sign here. Okay, hopefully this makes me some money. People are fussy about food. Is it because my maiden is on break right now? Because I don't see her. Oh, there she is. Okay, she was cleaning a table. All right. Speaking of tables, we're probably going to have to... Wow, tables are just a pit. Ugh. We kind of need another maiden, don't we? I'm going to blow everything in wages. That's how this is going to happen. I'm going to blow this entire game on wages. But we're not really gaining any reputation here with what we're doing right now. So let's put... Yeah, I'm going to put maiden number two down. Because she's got to take the orders, cook the food, clean the table. She has to do literally everything out here. Because there are no busboys in this game. So let's get a maiden. Uh, sure, you're... You're actually kind of cheap for your skill level. I'll take you, put you in the kitchen. Two maidens in the kitchen. Depending on what happens with the money in the shop and maybe some other money-making things that we can put down, I may think about putting a maiden up in here to research better food as well. Um, not really a lot going on up here, Mr. Knight. Don't oh. Try. Oh. I, Just making sure. I did a thing to you. I'm sorry. I got 15 rep for kicking local guards on duty. I, I was just clicking on you to find out who you are. I didn't know I was supposed to be doing that. Um, yeah, you, you get out of my bar, you local knight on duty. I, I don't know why you're not allowed in here or why I've gained reputation for kicking you, but I'm very glad I have. I'll have to look for more knights to kick. Are you one of them? Yep, you are. Cool. Um, oh, I can, I can just, uh, get my rep by kicking. Excellent! Well done, Tavern Tycoon! I'll look forward to kicking more people in the future. Oh, the, the wizard's on his knees. The wizard's just not having a real good day here. The fireplace is doing well, though, except it just broke. Things break more frequently in Tavern Tycoon now. Armadillo Rat, got it! Right by the Barbarian. Well, I think that's a good place to call it on Tavern Tycoon Endless Journey Mode for today. I think we've got some solid fundamentals set up. Solid fundamentals. We've got food, we got drink, we've got guest rooms, we've got a staff room, we're learning how to make better booze, we've got some money-making things up here, the Sword in the Stone and our new store here, and we've apparently learned that we can kick our way to a reputation bonus. So that's probably an excellent place to call it on Tavern Tycoon for now. We'll come back to some more of this later. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button and see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Till then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Wow. You could have hepatitis or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hep hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going?